Here's something that was funny. My last one. This is from Crackberry. Kevin did this. They had a podcast. No, the Ice Sheep. On Ice Sheep, which was funny. But you and I, Rusty, and, and, and by the way, this is why people like to watch us, I'm sure. You know, you don't get sound bites here. You get you get real. Um, oh, Sam the Geek is broken. If it's broke. Live stream. I don't know. It should. It should play. This is because DSL sucks. Does everybody have a video problem? Nope. I'm not watching the video, so I don't know. You can go to the live stream site, though. Sam the Geek. Um. Okay. I, I think it's just that that person's internet connection. And everybody else uh, is saying it's fine. All right, so Crackberry, Crackberry got this. This uh, they're talking about basically if you and I put it in. If you want to go listen to the Crackberry podcast, it starts at around thirty-seven minutes and six seconds. Now, what they were, what basically Rusty and I have been talking about for quite a long time is the about about the crowd that is so five minutes ago. I don't like to use the word I should, because that specifically targets Apple. And, and that app, wait a minute, and that Apple has made legions of mind-numbed robots. And I'm not, and I don't, I don't remember that. The, the... He's in denial. Or, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The, that's so five minutes okay, ago. Okay, can we call that bit, bit? Do you want us oh. to call him Sheeple then? Would, sheeple. Would you refer to well, the term no, Sheeple? I want, no, no, no. I want, it, I want them to be called the That's So Five Minutes Ago crowd. Because that crowd jumps from one fad to the next. And they buy, they buy <laughs> stuff just to buy. But, Ben, that phrase is so five minutes ago. Thank you. So, so that's the thing. Well, that's so five minutes ago crowd. You know, buy an iPhone today. This is the same crowd that when a smartphone became a thing, it was BlackBerry when it first started. And, and it, then they were, then the iPhone came out, and it's like, oh, new shiny. We go to the iPhone. Hey, wait, wait. But that means in the ye- in the near future, when the Apple shiny wears off, we'll be talking about how Apple's going out of business just like we do BlackBerry now. I so mm-hmm. love the five minutes ago, people! Right. <laughs> exactly. It's the, it's a large part of the demographic is buying iPhones right now, and, and they were acknowledging this finally in BlackBerry is these that so five minutes ago crowd they because look how many videos and, and it's funny like commercial like when windows uh smoked by windows phone was doing it you they, those users got smoked by a windows phone because they didn't know shit about their own phone <laughs> because they didn't buy it for the as the apple pundits would say they didn't buy a ios for how how graceful it was and Oh, oh, you, you know so what? Uh, I, I liked uh, the smoked by a, uh, Android one when when those Microsoft because one of the tests was launch an application. You know how long did it take to launch an application? And somebody went out with an Android right. phone who understood their OS and said, "Well, right. I have an application here on the desktop, so it's already launched. So does zero right. seconds count?" <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> and it's obvious. Look, my wife owned an iPhone and she didn't get it all. Up, you know. Wasn't that all that simple and intuitive? She's and and you know she's doing quite well, quite fine on her Droid Razor. But you know what? Why we're on today. that? You Just said she did on iOS bit, because bit, I had owned bit before you know, we forget. Before she did. Why we're on but, that? Before we forget, we had an update. I, I, I'm going to go to that. I'm okay. Go to that. <laughs> like, we, we didn't, didn't cover, cover that in, in tech. <laughs> I want to make sure we we covered everything here on, on the Apple side. I think we did. So, but I'm, yeah. all I'm saying is finally other people are getting it that a huge demographic of now the, 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 the iOS consumption is because Apple, Apple made it. They're, they're, they have sold their brand as the brand to have. And, and with it, it brings the legion of people that will move on from Apple somewhere else. They used to be on BlackBerry before we got the phrase CrackBerry, but uh, they won't go on to something else. And that's why I don't like the word I sheep. It's not necessarily that there's like stupid, just like Apple. It's not the same context. Of, uh, okay, uh, everybody, uh, you have your biddle made them. They are so five minutes again. <laughs> that's right. Right. And because, I, 
look, this is not the same context of when it was Mac versus PC, where iSheep came out. You know, people were like, oh, you're, you're in the magical bubble of Steve Jobs. You know, you know what? Am I the only one who notices that the entire tech commentary industry... I mean, we started doing PC versus Mac, but PC versus Mac is dead. You know, Apple's killed the ads. There is no more. Hi, I'm a I'm a piece of crap, and and I'm a and I'm a piece of crap too. And, and th th those ads are no longer there. Uh, but have you noticed? Even though, you know, Microsoft and Apple have both stopped that, that the whole industry is trying to put everything in the rivalry A versus rivalry. B. B box like they're trying to do that they're trying to make it iOS versus Android or finally like they can't let it go they have to keep it going because they don't know they don't remember how to actually just talk about the technology it's kind of sad almost actually so that's why I don't like the word I sheep when it's come really coming with iOS I mean I know I was dubbed oh you're my you know my number Steve Jobs bot and all that other crap when, you know, back in the day. But this is, iOS is a very different demographic. They, Apple back then was not a fad. It was, it's, it, they, you were just loyal to the product and you had your reasons whatsoever. This legitimately has legions of people that have no clue, would never know what the hell the pundits are talking about with simplicity and elegance and all this other crap. They're getting it because it is the cool thing to have. Now, that's not everybody I'm just saying, but there's a shitload of them that do. And that's what people are beginning to realize. And I, 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 when I listen to that podcast, it's like, fine, you know, I'm not the only one shouting in the darkness. So, next. Where do you want to go next to? Uh, well, while, while we're talking about signing updates, let, let's cover your wife update real quick before we forget All it. All right, the droid right there. My wife... Um, Basically, we got the SD card, 32 gig. It should be here tomorrow. Um, LTE on that phone is awesome. She now uses it to... We moved, like I said, all her iTunes library up to Amazon's cloud, and she streams it everywhere. She's really happy with that. Um, uh, yesterday was her birthday, and uh, we literally had her, her phone plugged in, and it was streaming everything without interruption, and did a great job on that. She, I think, mastered email really well on that device, whereas on iOS, she didn't know how to delete something. And, um, she even had trouble with uh, voicemail on, on the iPhone. She didn't like the slider thing. It didn't quite work for her well. She likes how it's working on the Troy. Uh, let's see what else I'm remembering. Um, I, 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 I see her use it a lot more than she did the iPhone. I think she's 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 using Facebook a hell of a lot more on this device than she did with uh, her iPhone. Uh, oh, you must be so annoyed with yourself. Yeah, it, 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 that's her thing. That's she knows my opinion on Facebook, but that's her thing. You know, I'm not. Uh, I have my opinion. That's as far as it goes. I'm not some freaking uh, uh, you know Nazi-like person that will execute my opinions on others and force them to, you know, so that, that's her thing, she likes it. Um, the navigation app still has that that, that bug that we're, try, we're trying to figure out, um, but she really didn't give a crap, you know, about it. She kind of just dismissed it. I'm not dismissing it. I'm a little perturbed by that and still trying to look up how to fix that. Uh, it just, the navigation app just kept continuing even if we killed it. Um, that's the bug I'm, I'm referring to. The she's not she doesn't do much with the app store, and she didn't do much with the iPhone app store either. I think she doesn't. Look you at know, the phone. Th there's people who are app buyers, and there's people who are not, and it's that that yeah, doesn't really not, change with the platform. Yeah, so she's not about app type of thing. You know, she's she'll ask me like she did on the iPhone, "Can I get this done?" And then it, it, so. It, all that is pretty much the same, but I, I see her using it more in different ways than she did with the iPhone. No dropped calls. Unfreaking real. No drop calls yet. It's awesome. Uh, just Phone calls? Just what are these things? <laughs> She's but, forgotten. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fantastic on that. 
in in email, which uses her phone a lot. Oh, that's the other thing. She's able to go to and log into her bank right, on the Android phone. She could not do that on the iPhone. It did not support. Uh, you, you know, th- this is the thing I find funny. This, this is like the fifth case of this I've heard where like a layman, just, you know, average everyday user. You know, if people say Android is the intimidating, the geeky, the you can't do anything OS, yet people sit down in front of iOS and they need their technical person to walk them through all the slides and gestures and everything else, and they sit down in front of Android and why it's not iOS-y, they can figure it out. <laughs> you know, in a weekend, they figure out how to do stuff, as opposed to needing somebody else to tell them. I, and I find that funny, considering this is supposed to be the geeky, technical, you know, <laughs> yada yada OS, yet it seems to be the more novice user intuitive, as long as you're not looking through the Apple lens thing. I, I, I will say on the gestures, though, that is the one feature... I would kill for Android to completely remove. None of these, you know, swipe to answer the phone, swipe to, I'm like, get rid of it. I just want to go jab. I don't want to go gesture, gesture, just stop it. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, you know, so she's, she's happy about that. She also can open every attachment to emails thus far. So the phone so far is doing well. Uh, on that point. So that's that's my wife's Droid Razor update. 